<laughs> they was trying to ride the high hand. God, bro, what the fuck, Kyle? Huh? What? Nigga, what are you what the fuck are you talking about, Madden? Y'all on some bullshit already. Fuck, bro. That shit is terrible, bro. It is not. It's not that hard, bro. It is not that fucking hard. It is not that hard. It isn't, bro. That shit. That shit's terrible, dog. What are we forced this for, though? It was a man, I don't know, bro. Circle, nigga. You got circle wide the fuck open, bro. You forced the ball down to that, nigga. Oh, take your time. We good. The thing, nigga. Yeah. Put that shit back in the day. Niggas like you not get in the game. Bruh, there's no way this nigga's getting this much, bruh. I ain't tired of that shit, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I ass. 
This shit over with. This, uh, bruh, he is not that fucking fast, my nigga. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, what the fuck, bruh? Like, this nigga is some shit. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you even in the game? What the fuck is going on? Why are you even in? This shit throwing me off. Oh my god, come on. I don't like how they even, they giving this nigga Miles Garrett all that shit on the whooping wing too, bro. Yeah, that shit ass. I ain't even stopping. I'm gonna die like this, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? First and ten. Twelve. Niggas is getting hurt. Dog, y'all just giving this nigga all types of shit, my nigga. What the fuck? They got this motherfucker shaking. <laughs> nigga, this game is horrible. He wide open, bruh. He wide the fuck open. Are you fucking kidding me, Madden? Y'all on some bitch ass shit. I ain't even, I'm about to say, when the fuck is Curtis Samuel coming back in the game? What the fuck? Like, y'all ain't even say nothing about that. Ass nigga, man. The fuck, bro? Come on, man. Let's go. Go for it. Go for it, nah, nigga. Go for it. You don't never, you don't never kick field goals. Go for it. Fuck out of here, bro. This gay ass game, bro. This game gay as shit, car. Damn, you know, I ain't even do that, bruh. This shit going so... Shit happening so fucking fast, bruh. I ain't even look at that shit. Mm-mm. 
Man, this game is horrible. That nigga's nowhere over there, dog. That shit ass. He nowhere near that nigga, bruh. No, that's the wrong nigga. Stripping me, nigga. Come on, nigga. This ain't motherfucking Kansas City, nigga. The fuck? Oh! Come on! Uh, eight yard. Oh, I'm playing like trash. Oh my god, this nigga is terrible. Uh, what do I want to? What do I, what I want to do? What do I want to do? Be good. Come on. Think, just think, 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 think. Uh, boom, and move that there. The Texans have third down, just one for three this far. This is third goal, and the tight end goes in motion for left. All right, fuck Mad Mad on some bullshit. This ain't even Kansas City. Let's go. Yeah. Now we gotta get a stop. Set your fucking defense up too, bro. I ain't set my fucking defense up, not even thinking. Forgot. I did. Thank you. Give me my fucking pick, man. Stop fucking me. Stop fucking me. Come on. Stop. Hey, stop with that bullshit. Come on, man. Stop with that bullshit, man. Stop with that bullshit. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Stop with that bullshit. That's the second time. Yeah, nigga, the motherfucking adjustments is like that, nigga. These motherfucking adjustments is like that, nigga. Let's go. Lock the fuck in, rap. Lock the fuck in. You want to keep playing? Come on, let's go. Get the... 
decent chance of coming away with the football. Making the tackle there, Martin Emerson. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. On second down, it's Stroud. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Juan Thornhill, and he'll take it across midfield and down the 48-yard line. down they'll go to the ground attack there he goes left side down the left sideline and he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10 58 yards on the ground in this first half with a super bowl berth on the line a conference championship on the line and a championship type run right there that guy's running as if he can smell it feel it and obviously wants it Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Punching it in from a yard away. And his guys now at Extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see, do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Stroud now on first and 10. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Escaping the pressure right. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Throwing now is Stroud. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he's got this to Jefferson. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Stroud looking to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there. It's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of 
of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Again, it's Stroud, eluding the pressure right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And the Browns are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both... That's caught inside the 20. A big play that time for Cleveland. 66 yards. And it's just come so easily, hasn't it? This defense, they've been caught flat-footed time after time after time. This was not a touchdown, but it is another huge play. And they've spent huge portions of this game chasing guys downfield, and that is certainly not a winning formula. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Watson, a little touch pass on the jet sweep. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pick out of nine yards on first down. Here's second and one now from the seven. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Right back to him on first down. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. AFC title game, second quarter action. Two minutes to play. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Strong. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Now it's Watson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nicole Hardman with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now third down and very long. Stroud working out of the gun. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Yeah. 
Play action. Here's Stroud. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Stroud off the play fake. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, C.D., we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, it had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. A final shot before the break. Watson flush to his right. Whoa, what happened there? No good. Off the crossbar, and it comes back. A very poor effort from PAT distance. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So first and ten. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And now here's a carry heading left. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 31. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Off of play action, it's Watson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Uh, give up the middle to Strong. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Watson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Ah! Throwing on third down, Watson. Pass taken in by his good tight end. Touchdown! David Njoku, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns just 
continue to roll. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto, and so the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Stroud now on second down. Hitting Samuel on the slam. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and ten, it's Stroud. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. They're going to bring back to the line now. And second down throw now from Stroud. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Martin Emerson. And the Browns are going to take over once again at their own 47 yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it, but it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a couple. Faking the give. Now Watson. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that's going to be caught for the Browns. Touchdown. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game. And the Browns are pouring it on. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in a big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the five. And he gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. 
And Stroud now to throw. That's complete. It's Collins. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Stroud here on third and long. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And a key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch. Turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And now here is another interception. There he goes, right side. Inside the 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage turn that into a pick six and that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out and as confidently as they've been playing I expect them to do exactly that that's caught and this is going to be caught I'm well, not sure about the need to go for two but they get it and extend this lead out even further so they throw the pick six they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive will have the issue in the first half as well. And that's really unfortunate for them to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves, but we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And quickly, they get to the line. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. That's down the field for Jefferson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Justin Jefferson, 47 yards. And the Texans are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Well, they've been part of the cream of the crop in the AFC all season. It's becoming more and more evident that they're going to get a shot to play for that Super Bowl title. The momentum has been building, and you mentioned how well they've played throughout the season. It's all come together for them, and they are really laser-focused on being that team to represent in the Super Bowl. They have been dominant in this one. They'll try to run it here, and he is not going to make it to the end zone. And that's pretty reflective of their game as a whole as they'll remain down by a bundle. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, 
those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Here's a handoff out of the gun. 84 yards rushing for him now as he tries to will his guys to the Super Bowl. And now they're in the hurry up. To throw is Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three and leaves him with fourth and one. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And some room to work. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. And he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, Brennan, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. He'll try to run with Strong. And this will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Watson now to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Browns! It's another touchdown pass for Deshaun Watson, his fifth of the afternoon. And the Browns are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Stroud now on first and ten. A hit as he throws there incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And my goodness, another interception. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. After the interception, here's Watson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride.
of seven, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw on second down. Johnson. Gonna throw right. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player... You go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On first down, here's Stroud. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Stroud to throw it. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Stroud looking to throw. Taking a shot for Dell here. And now here is another interception. And the Browns are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth-quarter lead. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Isaiah Rodgers. And the Texans are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and four. And my goodness, another interception. Down the right sideline. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. Fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller Charles that's thrown all these interceptions another one there and this one taken all the way back to the score. Parker hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this group of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. And this is going to be caught so add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Houston's offense already at the line set to get going. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. 
Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Play action. Here's Stroud. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Stroud. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade let's them go, from go, attempting another one. Ready. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Buffalo 18. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they're going to find the open man. That's complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now the Browns offense will stay on the field as they'll go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. And it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. <laughs> the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half was pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, it was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Okay, break. work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Play action. Stroud now. Caught left side. Here's Dell. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Stroud sets up the play action. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soaking hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. Fourth down, Stroud going to try to throw for it. And it's incomplete. They cannot... So what are you throwing, bro? This nigga ain't been missing none of these throws. Ugh. Because he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail to try to 
Some shit. They gave you a whole bunch of shit. They gave you a whole bunch of shit. You wild as shit for even trying to go for a hundred, bro. That's some weird. That's weird, bro. But it's all good. Just a 